Welcome to the Quick Train Modeler version 804 What's New video. The theme for this release is bigger, faster, and easier. Bigger because you can load more data, faster because we have optimized many functions, and easier because we have simplified workflows and added new tools to make life easier for our users. First, bigger. The memory footprint for DEMS and DSMs is half what it used to be. This means you can load twice the amount of data and visualize bigger areas or more tiles. Next, version 804 is faster. We have multi-threaded and optimized many functions like line of sight, HLZ, and loading large SID files. Your speed increases will be dependent on how many CPU cores you have, but things should be much faster. Lastly, easier. Version 804 adds a few great new tools and makes others easier and better. Bounding boxes and flight surfaces enable interactive 3D analysis of potential HLZs and LZs. Specify the rectangle size and a few parameters about the aircraft approach and departure paths, and QT Mahler will display the planned approach and departure in the scene, shown here as green and blue surfaces. Drag and rotate the flight surfaces in the scene to identify and minimize potential obstructions to aircraft flight. In 804, range rings add a multi-ring placement capability, as well as an interactive tool to select center positions in the 3D scene. And once vectors like range rings and bounding boxes are placed, or imported from a file for that matter, they can be interactively edited. Double-clicking on vectors enables interactive moving, adding, and deleting of nodes, while holding down the K key enables dragging and rotating vectors to new locations. Here, we're moving the range ring around a new HLZ center location to ensure there's enough space around the HLZ. In version 804, route planning is dramatically easier. Just click the new Create Route button, which is on the tactical toolbar, and place a route just like a measurement line. It will appear in the layer tree in the 3D scene without the visual clutter of a marker on every turn. Double-click the route to edit it, drag, add, and delete nodes, and all export functions like GPX and KMZ remain the same. The indexing tool, always tremendously valuable to assess your LiDAR and imagery holdings, now allows filtering by file types, such as LAS. CADRG, SIB, and JOG, and other file types have been added, as well as a report indicating when bad files are encountered during the indexing process. So that's a quick overview of Quick Train Modeler version 8.0.4. Please visit our website to learn about the rest of the new capabilities, or better yet, send us an email or give us a call. We would love to hear from you.